Morning, folks. It's the start of a new week out here. As you can see, we don't have anything sticking around, such as forms. We don't have that yet, so still working on that. I think I might set up some forms in here. I gotta do a little research before we do that. But I'd like to put the outdoor wood boiler right here. So we might get to that this week. That would be nice. Uh, but I do need to do some research on clearances and stuff like that. We gotta get and make sure we're up to code. So I gotta do some research on that. Uh, but what I've been doing the last few days is because it's deer season, it's about to start. Maybe I'm doing this a little late, but time again, it's fickle, it's a weird thing. But I've been cutting some trails. Uh, well, one trail in particular. So I'm cutting that trail out. And what I'd like to do is on the opposite side of the road, I have 25 acres on that side. And the only way, it's, a, it's basically a triangle and the point is directly that way. <clears throat> the only way to get to that point right now is, is trudging through the woods about a quarter mile. Seems like it anyway, probably. Yeah, gotta be at least a quarter mile. Trudging through there. So what I'm trying to do is cut a trail out to that back corner and then I want to cut the trail back along this side back to the road. So we got a big loop around there and then we'll cut some trails intermittently through there but I like to get at least a four wheeler to get be able to get through there. If we do get a deer on that side, it'd be easy to just throw that throw it in the back of the four wheeler on the wagon and get it moving. Uh, I think you saw on my other trail I cut out to my other deer stand. That trail is super bumpy, which is the same over there. So I gotta come up with a system to try to flatten it out, hence the uh, pallet with a couple logs to weight it down a little bit. Maybe I'm, I'm thinking we're going to rip that pallet to shreds in no time. I really do, but I got to have something. <clears throat> I got to try something because it's just, it's, it's rough. I mean, you go slow, like less than five miles an hour and you are still bouncing around all over the place. So, uh, I'm going to try to get it out there and try it, try it out there. We'll see how it works to flatten out this trail and uh, we still got to cut some more. I'm probably, I made it to the back corner the other day. No, um, no, I'm still about 40 yards away from the back corner. So, uh, but we're getting closer, which is cool. Uh, I like to get to that back corner and then we'll have to navigate back out to the road. We'll make a big half moon, basically. It's not really a half moon, it's a triangle. It's half of a triangle, a right angle, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so let's get that out there. Let's do that. And let's start this week off right. It's good exercise anyway, and I need it. All right, so this is our setup. We got it strapped in. Hopefully that stays. We'll figure that out as we go, but we got some weight into the pallet and we're gonna try to, this is the beginning of the trail. This is where the uh, camera is. This trail goes out to the road. We still got a long way to go back there. We'll get this trail maybe a little bit more level with this setup. I, I mean, Anything's worth a shot at least once, right? So we're gonna give this give this a go if it doesn't seem to be working. I mean I'm not I'm not expecting miracles on the first run, the first dry run over this. So I'm just hoping this does a little bit. And then if we just keep every time we come out here, we just run this through here, maybe slowly but surely she'll start going. 
I'm just hoping the pallet holds up. That's the big uh, goal right now. <laughs> Let's get her, to, get her to hold hold up through some of these rough spots and uh, fill in some of these holes and take down some of the high spots. All right, this is about where we made it to. It's just beautiful out here. One with nature, man. I tell you, you, you can't beat this. You just cannot beat being out here. I'm telling you, this is the fully the dream. Man, anyway, so this is the trail we made it to, the end of the trail so far. So we're gonna try to go right through there. There's a stand of maples dead center in this trail. We're gonna have to knock out, we're gonna have to knock out all these limbs. Probably take out this little pine tree. Them stumps, we did hit a few stumps. There was a few of them little little pines, little maples in the middle of the road or the middle of the trail. I definitely had to take them down. So we're gonna have to uh, maybe take down a few more of them stumps to better more ground level i guess because we did hit a few with the pallet but she held up i was uh pleasantly surprised she held up pretty well but let's get to cutting more of the this trail like i said we're about 40 yards i believe from from the opening and i say opening but it's just a it's hardwoods so it's a hardwood opening i got probably maybe one to one and a half acres of a it's a diamond shape in the back corner which is hardwood so it kind of opens up a little bit so i call it the opening but it's definitely swampy back there so we're going to hit the opening and then we'll cut we'll cut to the left down here and starts heading back to the road yeah let's let's get started stop messing around All right, we made her to the back corner, the opening is what I call this. This is a hardwood trees back here in the swamp. This little corner is a swamp. I've been back here quite a few times and I always thought like this would be a, the perfect place for a deer stand, you know? A deer coming into the, from the hardwoods and into this, I would say thicker, thicker pines but man there are a lot of big nice tall hardwoods in here there are some popple but look at them them are maple beautiful maples growing another very beautiful maple growing back here yeah this is a very beautiful spot of the, of the property but we're to the opening just want to make a a nice little turnaround up here so i can turn around but like i said we'll be going in that direction after this i'm gonna have to get my gps out make sure we're headed off into the right direction probably use my phone maybe my compass but we definitely need to make sure we still get back into the pines and, and get, cut our trail through the pines but yeah guys that's it uh trail cutting out here on the homestead who knows what these trails will be used for I think, uh, I mean, the main thing I would like to do is uh, one, have access to the entire property through trails. And then also uh, maybe some cross country ski trails in the winter time for exercise. You know, at winter time around here, there's not a whole lot to do. So what happens is your body wants to insulate itself. So it just gets fat. You just continue to get fatter. So, if we have some exercise, some activities to do in the summertime or in the wintertime that are good for our health, better for us. But yeah, these trails are gonna be nice. Something that's required out here and I love doing it. 
I love being out here. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Hey guys, seems like I've been out here all day, but I did go inside to get some lunch. And then I came back out. I think it's roughly four o'clock right now. And then we're gonna stay out here until just after sunset, which is I think seven. Haven't seen a thing. Fred everywhere running around like a crazy man trying to attack me in my my little shelter here and uh yeah some partridge grouse if you will saw them out here they're running around i see fred over there he just tried to attack me a minute ago mosquitoes aren't too bad but they are out so i got a few mosquitoes in the tent with me but hopefully we see something tonight would be really nice. Got a nice window view here. Not the front view. That's where we're gonna be shooting. Don't worry about the ladder. We won't hit that. Hopefully we get something tonight. If not, there's always tomorrow. So hey guys, it's like 5.35. I think I was, it felt like I just was talking to you guys out in the stand, but uh, we shot at a deer. So we're gonna have to go find him here in a little while. I shot him like at 5.30 and right now it's like 5.40. So we're gonna wait a little bit. I couldn't find my arrow and I didn't see any blood. So it's not a good sign. It could be a total miss, but man, I was dead on him. Dead to rights. It was pretty crazy. It was it was pretty crazy. There was a doe and two fawns in there and they were running. Like the doe smelled me. She was like wheezing. Free, free. And she was just running in circles and the, the two fawns were just chasing her around and that buck was just sitting there mah, mounding on that on my block, you know. And I was like, dang dude, what is this? This this doe is freaking out and she's running around like crazy. And so are the fawns. But she was running right next to me. And I think she just smelled me. But the buck, he couldn't. Like he didn't care. Like she was trying to warn him the whole time. And he couldn't. It's I think it's just a little six pointer, maybe a four pointer. But we're we're gonna find him. We're gonna have to go out and find him here in a little while. We'll go out and track him. Alright, it's been about an hour. Maybe an hour and 10 minutes or so. If we had a good shot, he should be down, down for good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to sneak back out here. See if we can find this guy. If you were with the channel last year, you know that I did hit a deer last year and I couldn't find him because of a poor shot. So let's not repeat that this year. Let's knock this out and let's, uh, let's sneak out here. There's quite a few deer out here earlier, so we might spook one. Hopefully we find this guy. All right, so we got blood. Oops. We got blood. I still haven't found the arrow. Looks like he stood here for a while. And then he starts to cut back this way. And more. Now he cuts into here. Well, it's going straight back. Oh, there's a big chunk of blood right here. Well, good morning. 
as you can tell, it's the next day. Oh. And uh, yeah, we couldn't find her last night. So I tell you, either I'm just not lucky or I'm just a horrible shot. I don't know. So same thing happened last year. Nice blood trail. All of a sudden, snap, gone. So we tracked it probably about, I don't even know. It was probably 200 yards and then off my property, across the road onto some, some uh, lumber company land. Rolled out there trailed it for another good hundred yards nothing blood trail just kind of hit some thickets and I don't know what happened so we're going out there again this morning we're gonna try to uh, using daylight see if we can see anything out there I don't know man I don't know what it is. I can target shoot all day and that's like, mm, perfect. I just test checked it again uh, Friday. Threw some more arrows into that target out there just to be sure. We're dead on. But when you're out there in the woods and uh, you got deer standing in front of you, especially a buck, the pretty amazing uh, adrenaline rush that you get and your heart is pounding uh, for real and you're waiting for this dude to give you a clear shot I'll tell you man I was like I'm having a heart attack there's no doubt I'm gonna have a heart attack because my heart's beating so damn fast breathing is, is labored <laughs> it's like, what so there's definitely some changes between shooting at a target and shooting at a, and shooting at a deer. However, I need to get better at this apparently because two years in a row now, I feel like, hey, we got a lot of blood and this is a good trail. For some reason, it just stops. Hopefully we're able to find them today. Uh, it is frustrating. I'm not even gonna lie. Sad. You know, you got a you got a deer that's wounded out there, and if you can't find them, it's just it's sad. You know, hunting is an amazing thing, and you're trying to feed your yourself and your family, and when you take out a deer like that, and you're not able to utilize that food it is a waste and it's sad for the animal it's sad for you it's just not cool so let's get out there let's find them today let's get this meat in the freezer and make sure this works out <laughs> i hope because this is not cool nice. there's a nice spot right here so he's kind of He's bait, our, our deer stand is back that way, about a 90, 90 degrees to the right. So he's basically made a, a loop around. But man, yeah, this is a good, he stood here for a bit. We're getting him, we're finding him. We'll see, we'll see what we can do. Oh, there's some more, there's another drop right here. Well, not a lick more blood. So, chalk it up to a bad shot on my part. And uh, yeah, feel horrible about uh, hitting something and not finding it. It's not a good feeling for sure. And uh, you know, so my dad was like trying to make me feel better like other animals need to eat too, you know, but sad, you know. I just don't, uh, I don't appreciate myself when I can't find 
when I'm trying to shoot. So yeah, what a horrible feeling. So gotta get better, gotta do better next time for sure. And yeah, I'm going back out here right now to uh, see if I can find my arrow because the stuff that that deer was running through was so thick. If that arrow was still in him, uh, he probably wouldn't have been moving as much. So I must have went, must have went through him. So I'm gonna go out here and take the gander, see if I can find it. But uh, yeah, sad, sad, sad day. morning folks we got some peoples out here this morning getting all set up for the foundation all right i went, went a quick, quick change and then the guys rolled out but they get it they went ahead and marked everything down it looks so small when they mark it for some reason so i don't know 32 by 42 is what we're, we're shooting for here and then with a 10 foot overhang on that side and try to keep it uh, level-ish with the garage so we're looking good uh, they went back and I think they're gonna go they might have to bring more dirt in but they did go they went back to gear up you know kind of reminds me of sheet metal in the Air Force you know they come out they evaluate and then they leave again you know it, all you Air Force folks you know you know what it is old sheet metal got to go back and gear up so uh hopefully they get back out here today this morning and uh we get a we get a foundation in they won't get no concrete poured but they'll get the forms in today and i don't know i'll talk to the guys about the plumber because they did they did mention the plumber getting in here as well but i don't think that'll be today depending on how fast the forms go in, I guess. <clears throat> I'll also have to call the well folks so they can come in and they can plumb in their, their supply line. We gotta get the pump in there and get the supply line in when the forms come in. So we'll try to get that done as well. All right, guys, uh, got a good, good movement today. I like it. <clears throat> We're pressing forward. All right, so these guys dropped off a bunch of forms. So what we gotta do is go out to the stand real quick. And what I like to do is set up my target out there and take a few shots from the blind because I can't afford to have a bow that's not sighted in. And we can see it's sighted in. I shoot the target every day when I'm done hunting. So. And we are dead on, like dead on. So the only thing I can think of is maybe we're not, I don't know, the, the tent is somehow affecting our shot somehow. And I'm gonna try to put the target out there. We'll take a few shots at the, at the target from inside the tent and we'll see what's going on. And maybe, like I said, maybe it's the adrenaline pump that's uh pulled I, I i pulled maybe or something happened could could be but uh to validate our our shot from the tent let's uh set up this target and let's take a few pot shots and uh, at least make sure that we're we're good from inside the tent that's all i want to do so here's our normal setup of course i got the door open We'll see if that if I shut the door if it makes any difference. But let's see if the if the tent makes any difference whatsoever. I'm gonna aim for dead center of the target. We'll see what happens. Take the safety off. Mm.
All right, let's go. Uh, let's go take a gander at what we got. We'll see if uh, that did it. All right. Well, it looks like we're just a tad high. Let's. Uh, I mean, as you can see, we're about two inches high, maybe an inch and a half. So let's. Uh, Let's, let's do a quick adjustment here and knock, knock that out. But we're pretty close. Like if there was a deer standing here, uh, I mean, it could have made a big difference, but two inches is not that crazy. I was thinking more like somewhere down, up, something. But this is pretty close. I don't think it's the tent having an issue. I want to say it's probably the adrenaline. Let's try it again though, real quick, and we'll knock this out. Okay, so that's a lot better. We're, uh, in the bullseye but not in the red so that's pretty goddamn close i'm i'm happy with that we're gonna stick with that and uh yeah i'm uh pretty sure that it's got to be just my adrenaline i am shocked that i'm i don't i won't call it a miss because we did have quite a bit of blood out there it just happened to stop. It's, it's the same thing that happened last year. So, uh, just poor shot on my part, I guess. Cool my jets. Stop the adrenaline pumping. Relax and take a good shot. Because maybe, that's all I could chalk it up to right now. I thought it might be the tent and I wanted to make sure that I, uh, took that out of the equation. So, uh, now I know it's just, it's just me. But we can't afford to have another deer hit and then lost. That's just sad. So, one, I guess, it's on me. It's purely in my head. And then uh, I need to maybe buck fever. Got to get rid of that, I guess. All right. We're good there. Let's get back to the house. Hopefully these guys are setting up some forms. And we'll knock this out. All right. Thanks, guys.
Well, here we got it. Forms are in. That's what our slab will look like. Sure does look a whole lot smaller when uh, this is in here. Little, little, little tiny house looks like, kind of, huh? But we got 32 by 42, and then we're going to need some uh, sonic tube out here for our posts for our overhang. But at least this part's in, and now waiting on a plumber. We'll get the plumber in here. We'll get him to do his thing. And also them guys took my plans with them. Mm, I, we're going to need them back. But uh, yeah, the forms are in. Next step, plumber. I'm going to have to call the well guys in to get their stuff in. Do that tomorrow. You guys just left for the day. Got everything level. Everything looking really good. They cut 8 inches down. So we got... A total of roughly 18 inches of concrete on our edges I guess there's a word for that that little grade beam whatever it is I think that's what it's called the grade beam and then uh, yeah the pad will be in after after we get the plumber and all the plumbing done Septic will go over here. We'll have all our plumbing in here. Kitchen, living room, bathrooms. One bedroom, another bedroom in that corner. And then the utility room in this corner. Man, it's coming to life. Just a little bit at a time. This is a good cap to the week. Uh, it's, been, it's been a good week. And it's been a disheartening week at the same time. You know, This is amazing. We got a good trail cut on the other side. We got the forms in for the pad. We got some deer hunting in. However, we lost a deer. And we missed one. So, well, I hit it and then we couldn't find it. So, it's not really a miss. It's just uh, sad. Sad to say. So, maybe get out there and do some hunting tonight. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Play that by ear. But, all right, y'all. You have a great week. I know I had a great week. This is Dan. The dream is coming alive. This is Northwood's dream. Have a good week.